guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen, and today we are watching season one, episode seven of The Last of Us. We had a whole lot of stuff happen. In the previous episode, we met an adorable old couple who I hope only good things ever happened to because they were precious and so cute. We met up with Tommy. Uh, Joel and Tommy had some bonding, they had some fighting, there was just, you know, sibling stuff, and they worked it out in the end, and it was, it was nice to, to see and to get to see them reunite and have those moments together. We also had a lot of Joel and Ellie bonding, them sort of realizing the significance that they have to each other and how much they care for each other and how terrifying that is for Joel and I think also Ellie. Um, we met Tommy's wife, Maria, and I like her. Um, their community is really cool. They have formed this real kind of oasis in the middle of this really shitty world and I hope that it works out for them. We also had Joel and Ellie go to the college Joel get attacked, Joel get hurt, and then he fell off his horse. And I think I know where this is leading based off my memory of the game, and I'm a little bit scared about it, but also just ready to see how they handle this storyline. They've done all the others so well, I'm, you know, I'm interested. So without any further rambling by me, let's go ahead and get right into it and find out. Leave. Shut up, Joe. Go. Joe, shut the fuck up! You go. You go. You go north. You go to town. You go. Oh. You know she's not gonna leave you. What I'm trying to oh, okay. Dick. Give them back! Then pick up your pace. I'm not running doubles again because of your shitty attitude. I don't want to fight about she's it. She's just running. Fight about it? You don't fight, just your friend fights. She's not here anymore, is she? Wow, why are you such a dick? <coughs> hey, he's from Expanse. <laughs> Bethany started it. She really did. Bethany's in the infirmary with 15 stitches. Good. Okay. Just put me in the fucking hole. I put you in the hole three times. It doesn't I work. think she kind of, I mean, I don't know if she does her 15 stitches. What? I'm going to tell you the truth. Ooh. That's the truth. You're smart, Ellie. You're so smart, you're stupid. <laughs> Can't see where this is going? Let me help you out. Two paths ahead of you. First path. You keep acting like a grunt so you get the life of a grunt. Up at dawn, walk the streets, walk the wall, you eat shit food, you do shit jobs, you take shit orders from your patrol leader, who will probably be Bethany. And that'll be your life from now until you catch a bullet from a firefly, or fall drunk off a roof, or get your hair caught in a moving tank tread. Mm. There's the other path. You swallow this pride of yours. You follow the rules, you become an officer. You get your own room, you get a nice bed. We eat well, we don't go on patrol. We're cool in the summer, we're warm in the winter, and best of all, when you're an officer, you get to tell the Bethany's of the world exactly where to shove it. Okay. Why do you even care? I care because no matter what anyone out there says or thinks, we're the only thing holding this all together. If we go down, the people in this zone will starve or murder each other. That much I know. Okay, so he believes in what he's doing. There's a leader in you. And one day it could be your turn. Or not. So which way? Hmm. But are leaders people who follow all the rules? Because I feel like leaders, I guess in order to lead, you have to learn to follow, right? I guess that's the idea. Damn. You gotta be quiet. Turn your light off. Ow. Riley, where have you been? What the fuck is wrong with you? Speaking up on me Girl. like that. It was a joke, okay? I thought it would work better. Riley. In my mind, you loved it. 
I didn't remember that her name was Riley. So, how's it going? Okay, it's bad. I thought you were dead. You've been gone for three weeks. I should fucking stab you. No, I appreciate your mercy. <laughs> Turn your light off. What if they come and see your light on? I joined the Fireflies. No, fuck you. Yep. No, she's not kidding. I'm not in the mood for this, Riley. I'm really not in the mood. You're a Firefly? Jesus. I told you I'd fucking do it. Talking about liberating the QC is not the same as... Fuck, where did you even... Slow down, slow down. I will tell you everything. You need to be quiet. First, you have to promise me something. I need to be Sort of crazy, quieter. and you're gonna say no, but then you have to say yes. Come with me for a few hours and have the best night of your life. Okay, now say yes. I'm not going anywhere <laughs> with you. It's great. It's 2 a.m. and in a few hours I have drills where we learn to kill fireflies. Get dressed. So stupid. She knew you were going to say yes. You know. Maybe you shouldn't mess with people like that. I'm sorry. Are you, are you telling me not to beat people up? You put Carol in the infirmary for a fucking week. I'm just saying, you can't fight everything and everyone. You can pick and choose what's important. Oh, are they teaching you this at Firefly University? Kinda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And fuck Carol. <laughs> uh -huh. Fuck Carol. Fucking Carol. Where are we going? Through a damn window. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he dead? Yeah. Is, is this the big surprise? No, no, this, this guy wasn't here yesterday. Um, I would avoid because infected possibly, you know? Ugh. It's so disgusting. This guy must have spent every card he had to get this. That. No one told him he couldn't mix pills with that shit? Maybe that's maybe he was. I think he was. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> You're sick, isn't it, right? <laughs> you laugh too. You're laughing. Okay. You're drinking it or what? Yeah. You're babies. <laughs> Yum. Uh huh. Give me. Oh, okay. It's great. <laughs> I said yes, and now I'm a firefly. That easy to give up everything, huh? By everything, you mean becoming a fascist dickbag? I mean, I don't know if it's that simple. Like, in a way, Fedra kind of holds everything together. Mm, she's buying into you know, the lie now, too. What does I love arguing with your stubborn ass? We're on a mission here. The mall? You out of your fucking mind? They sealed that place off for a reason. It's full of infected. If it's sealed off, then why isn't it sealed off? of the old world. So, what do you think? It's, it's fucking, wait, the lights. We're fine. You saw outside. It's like a big bunker. No one can see shit but us. Just me and you. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Tonight, I'm going to show you the four wonders of the mall. Which are? You plan stuff? I wonder what the four wonders of the mall are. No way. Electric stairs? Aw, electric stairs. Escalator. Yeah. Escalator? Mm-hmm. Go away. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Check me out, man. This is so cool. <laughs> Backwards. Forward. 
Yes. And backwards. And now I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving. So this is the first wonder, right? Uh, yeah, sure. There can be five wonders in this mall. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. Ta-da. You are just a graceful ballerina, but chop, chop. We're on a schedule. It's cool when Ellie gets like excited about things that seem like so mundane to, to us, you know, like calling a car, a spaceship and electric stairs. I mean, I don't get why people back then <laughs> wanted all this stuff. Do you need me to explain it to you? Ha ha, no, I know why. It just looks uncomfortable. Yep. What? Nothing, I was just trying to imagine you wearing that. Shut up! <laughs> <gasps> All right, come on. We're almost there. Y'all are also kids, so. Is she trying to look cute? Ellie! Uh huh, I'm on my way! Open your eyes. A carousel. Shit. What? Oh, she didn't know it moved? No way. <laughs> That's cute. It's cool to see, like, the pure, like, excitement and fascination. Again, like I said, of things that, you know, we stopped thinking were so cool and fascinating, like, as kids. Like, younger than them. Oh. Oh, come on. It died. Damn it. Let me see if I can fix it. Did you really leave because you actually think you could liberate this place? Don't say it like it's some type of fantasy, Ellie. They've done it in the other cuisines set things right the way they used Kathleen did the longer I was away the harder it was for me to come back sure does that make any sense yeah oh, I get it I would have gotten it back then too you know oh she's like if you just told me you know you're the one thing I miss from that fucking place if that makes a difference I mean, of course I would. <laughs> Aw, pictures. Oh, oh shit. Uh, um, uh, what should we do? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Bunny ears? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, 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 back to back? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just scary, just scary. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Get out. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> I got you. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh, fuck. Ah. That one's not bad. Hmm. Do you like it? It's yours. I was wondering if it would work or not. Oh, the arcade. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You asshole. Yeah, I'm <laughs> the same asshole that spent an hour yesterday breaking this fucker open. <laughs> Is it Dance Dance Revolution? Oh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh, boom. Ow! 
Use the joystick more. Okay. You ready? No! I'm... Okay, okay. Joystick. <laughs> oh, 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 how am I doing that? Finish him. finish him! Do not finish me! But then you wouldn't get to see this. Oh, God! Fatality. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I know. How many times have you played this? I mean, I've been here a few times. Uh, I see. Don't wait to do everything with me. Why the fucking doll? Oh shit. Frustrated cannibal do. Lay it on me. He threw up his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. I'm gonna go. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh. <coughs> what did the triangle say to the circle? Oh, you're so pointless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, how does a computer get drunk? It takes screenshots. Oh, they don't get it. But a screenshot. Yeah, I was gonna say they don't get that one. <laughs> Did you make this? Yes, Ellie, put it down. You didn't find this mall, did you? They posted you here. You recruit guarding their stash? We would never use them on you or anywhere ever near you. I would never let them do that. You would never let them? Right, and you think they're gonna listen to you? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Ellie. It's okay, I'm going. Ellie. 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 None of this shit was even about me. Would you stop? Fuck you! Ellie. Ellie, I'm leaving. They're sending me to a post in the Atlantic keeps. Oh. She wanted to say goodbye. I asked if you could join. So we could go together. But Marlene said no. Who the fuck is Marlene? Marlene is the lady that helped me get. It doesn't matter. Ellie, I tried. Mm. Tonight's my last night in Boston. <sighs> Poor fucking kid. This isn't easy, Ellie. It actually is. She's trying to like okay, don't be so loud. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't leave it like that, right? Oh no! Really? Is it the fucking one that woke up? Oh god. What the fuck? Surprise. Fifth Wonder. Oh, the Halloween shop. I thought you'd like this one the best and we'll save it for last. I guess it was stupid. So you leave me. I think you're dead. All of a sudden you're alive. And you're gonna leave. And you give me this night. This amazing fucking night. And now you're leaving again. Forever. Just join some cause I don't Tell me I'm wrong. I think that you don't know everything. Yeah. You don't know what it's like to have a family. To a mom. I mean, I didn't have them for long, but I had them. I belong to them. And I want that again. That feeling. 
Maybe the fireflies aren't what I think they are, but they chose me. I matter to them. She doesn't matter to Fedra. I matter to me first. Oh, Allie. <laughs> that hurts. I'm gonna punch you so bad. If it makes you hate me. <sighs> One last thing. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Put it on. Oh, put it on, stupid. Why? It's Halloween. It's <laughs> <laughs> glass. I'd be scared to be jumping on that. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. It's happy, but I know that it's gonna turn. my heart. <laughs> what do we do now? We're gonna figure it out. Uh, now you run for your fucking lives. You're ready to run. in the head. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no! This is how Ellie first got bit and didn't turn. That fucking sucks, you know? that somehow, girl. Can you fucking imagine how fucking painful that would be? Holy shit. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess it's better than the fucking alternative, but damn. I mean, I think that even if you haven't played the game before, it's pretty obvious that something is going to happen to Riley because she's not with Ellie anymore, you know? It was really cute to get to see um, the DLC get played out in this way. Again, obviously, they changed a few things about it, but I kind of like that they uh, reduced it down to just the 
the one. I think that there was a few more than just the one. But, again, I can't remember. But that was really good. It was cute to see Ellie sort of dis discovering who she is, or at least maybe, I mean, obviously I think she already knew who she was, but I think it's cute to see their little baby teenage romance, you know, and that they're best friends. And she was, she was going to stay for Ellie. And I think that that's really cute. And it's really cool to sort of see these two kids realize their place in the world and that they are the future and that they can fight to make a difference. And even if they're doing it from opposite sides, it's cool to see them have the realization that the world that they're fighting for is the world that they will inherit, right? Because they're the young ones. They're, they're who... I don't know. I just think it's inspiring to see kids realize the power in their own voices and their own power to change the future for themselves, right? Because, like, they can change the way Fedra is, right? Like, Ellie could change, not now, of course, but in this this idea of this world, Ellie could change Fedra from the inside. Like, if she becomes an officer, then there is hope that she could change the way they operate so that they're not so shitty, right? And if Riley is a firefly, she could make them less violent and about their what they're fighting to change, right? So, I don't know. I think it's, it's cool. It's obviously, it's sad because we know that it didn't end up that way for either one of them, right? Like, their future was was taken from them by the same thing that's taking everyone's future. And while Ellie lived, and this is actually what sort of caused the impetus for her to realize, and then the Fireflies to realize that she might be the key because of her immunity to uh, the bite. Wow, I, I completely lost my train of thought in like the middle of that sentence but um it's sad that this is the way that she had to discover that she is kind of the hope of the future right I also can't help but wonder and I wondered this playing the game as well if there are other people who are also immune but they've just never gotten bitten or for some reason they just don't know like I wonder if they could test Ellie's blood if they had like a scientist that was capable of like breaking it down to like the molecular level and figuring out if there is like a chromosome, if there's something in her blood that makes it different from everyone else's blood and then through that synthesize a way that other people could have that. Like obviously if it was a chromosome or something, I don't think that they could. You, I don't think you can create chromosomes. I, I, I'm not a scientist, don't fucking listen to me but if there's something that would be like able to be synthesized from it then it would make more sense now like I said surely Ellie wouldn't be the only person in the world that would have that right this flashback was a nice change of pace I think it was it was a lot it was a lot slower and a lot calmer and it was just really like a moment for the audience to take a breath and until the end of course but to take a breath and sort of see a different side of Ellie to see where she's coming from to see what shaped her at least in part to be who she is now and it's nice to just yeah as the audience to sort of have a break from the non-stop like go 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 action 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 of all the this information I think it's also a really cool way that they could incorporate the DLC into a moment in the show where it makes sense to put that bit of information right because obviously in the game you play this after you play the main game because it is the DLC and so you 
come to this information later and then you're it's just sort of retrospective um i think it's really cool because it wouldn't make sense for them to put this episode at the end of the season since it doesn't have to do with a continuation of the season so for them to place it here where joel is struggling where ellie is struggling with the idea of losing joel where we do have a bit of a lull in the the story because joel is hurt he can't go anywhere ellie is trying to help him i think it it it's a nice uh it's a nice place to find uh, or it's a nice place to put the information where it feels like it makes sense to the story, right? Especially because of what I can only assume is the next episode. It's also nice to sort of get, again, until the end when it goes real dark, but to get a bit of a lighter hearted episode with these really cute moments where we get to see Ellie really be a kid and to be amazed at these things that we take for granted like escalators or arcades or carousels now i think that we can all still see the magic in those things but we definitely don't marvel at them and revel in them in the way that ellie is especially like think about when you were 14 and you saw a carousel like it's you're not like oh my god a carousel <laughs> For the most part, probably, right? Because that was something that was really exciting when you were like six or, you know, a kid. But you kind of grow out of that and you become really desensitized in a way to the magic of just everyday life, right? Like an arcade is cool and fun. And I think that even as an adult, we can enjoy those things. But imagine a world where you never got that that's your first experience like everything is going to hold that level of magic and i actually think it's really cool the way that we have ellie as like our sort of guide through the 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 magic of just the everyday life right i've mentioned this in a couple episodes previously but I really do think that being able to see these things through Ellie's eyes and to be able to sort of conceptualize a world in which that is your experience, I think it's pretty cool. And I think it's really like eye opening to the fact that we do need to acknowledge more the magic of the world that we live in and how incredible these things that are pretty mundane to us actually are like it is wild that we live in a world where so much is so accessible to us and i do think that it's really easy to take that for granted you know and i think that games like this shows like this really remind us to take it in and to be appreciative not like i mean obviously there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world as well but i think that it kind of reminds you to try to see the beauty in the everyday and that's something that i've really appreciated that this show has been able to do and i think a really natural way um yeah so i really enjoy that i really liked riley kind of unfortunately right like i think riley was a very likable character i think that she would have been really cool to have along on the ride or on the journey with joel and tess and like just imagining joel trying to like wrangle these two kids who neither will fucking listen to him is kind of hilarious um obviously it would have been a very different story and i understand why they did it this way, but it is kind of a fun little thing to imagine. Yeah. I think it was cool to, to see Ellie in the beginning, uh, before Riley came back when she was talking to the guy from Expanse <laughs> and they were having that conversation and he's telling her like, you could be a leader if you just learn to follow right which is kind of interesting because 
I do think it's true that in order to be a leader, you have to learn, you know, you have to be able to understand the importance of following because if you're, if you want people to listen to your orders when you're in that situation, when you're in that position, you have to be willing to listen to other people's orders when you're not in that position. However, I also think that leaders have to be willing to challenge the things that aren't right and be willing to stand up for those things. So I think that there's definitely a lot of nuance to that and there's a give and take and everything. But yeah, I, I enjoyed that scene because it's cool to see that that guy saw the potential in Ellie to be more than what she was, I don't know, living up to, I guess. Like she wasn't living up to her full potential. And it's cool that he saw that. But it's also interesting that he is like the way that he sold it because he's like, you know, if you're an officer, you have a good life. You have heat in the winter and like AC in the summer and you don't have to go on patrol and you're comfy and you're good. Like you're safe. If you are a grunt, you're kind of like a disposable person. Yeah. Which is kind of fucked up. Anyway, it was cute to see them play Mortal Kombat. I don't know why I thought it was Dance Dance Revolution. Clearly, I, I have not played. I have played a little bit of Mortal Kombat, but it was a long time ago. Um, my brother used to have the game when we were kids. And I would just button mash against him and my sister and we would just have fun with it you know because I didn't know how to play like I was just just going you know just having fun but I don't know it enough to like an instantly recognize the music or anything like that yeah I also thought it was really interesting how Riley pointed out to Ellie that she had never had a family and Fedra obviously is not a family. It doesn't feel like a family. They don't seem to care about you, right? You are disposable, like that guy was talking about with being a grunt. So Riley obviously felt that <coughs> and went out seeking a family, a place to belong. And I thought it was very understandable. Like you can fully understand her motivation for that. She wanted someone to choose her. And in Ellie's case, it is a case of like, how much can you miss what you've never had? Sure, she, Ellie can still want a family. Sure, she can still have that desire for that. But unlike Riley, she doesn't have the, you know, the pang, like the, what's the word I'm looking for? She doesn't have like the visceral sadness of, knowing what that felt like and then having it taken away you know so that was cute it also was cute her saying like I wanted you before they did the Ellie saying that like that just got me because she was like but I chose you to be my family before they did so like why is that not enough and then it's cute later when Riley's like it is enough kind of right and they kind of <sighs> try to choose each other before everything goes to shit. It also did remind me of, and I don't know if it's because Bella Ramsey was on Game of Thrones or just because I love Arya so much, but it did very much remind me of the scene with Gendry and Arya where he wants to join the Brotherhood and he's like, you know, they can be my family. And Arya's like, I can be your family. Like, you know, it, it, it had a different outcome for Riley and Ellie, obviously, but yeah, it just inevitably reminded me of that, I guess, because you just, you feel the way that both of them are saying, I love you through that moment. Both Ellie and Arya are like, but I love you. I could be that person for you if you let me. And <sighs> Riley was gonna let her, but 
sadly, in this world, happy endings are few and far between. Yeah. I do wonder if we'll see any more of that moment or if this is the end of it. I think it makes sense that we don't have to go back there and like see Riley die or see Ellie get out because we see Ellie with Marlene later and they're waiting for it to heal, right? So we can fill in the gaps ourselves for how that happened. But I mean, also if they wanna show us, I don't think that that's necessarily bad either. Um, but yeah, I also really, even though they were very small moments, I really enjoyed the moments between Ellie and Joel in this episode. Just Ellie, Joel telling Ellie to leave him to go find Tommy. Like he was like, I, this is how I die. And Ellie just not accepting that and coming back and trying to help him is just like my heart. It made it happy. Even though that scene of the sewing through the fucking skin did not make me <laughs> happy. Um, it just, yeah, it was cute. And I think, I think that Joel needed that moment as much as Ellie did, you know? So, yeah, I think that's all that I really have to say. I don't have too much to say about this episode. I really liked it. I liked like how sweet it was, how cute it was. I liked seeing Riley and Ellie bond. I liked seeing their little kiss, like their cute little teenage love story, even though it fully ended in tragedy. Um, it was cute. It's cute. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, anyway, if you guys are interested in watching the next episode, episode eight, which I'm pretty sure is the second to last episode of the season, you can right now over on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube. You can also watch my entire full length reaction to this episode and all the episodes thus far of The Last of Us. That is over there as well. Um, yeah. I think that's all. I hope to see you guys next time for more Last of Us. I can't believe there's only two episodes left. It's just, I feel like there is so much to cover from the rest of the game. I do not know how they could possibly cover all of that in two episodes, but I trust them because these previous seven episodes have been incredible, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. See you next time.